So, I have a new project. It's a big project. It might even be bigger than the world's largest Raspberry Pi cluster. I know. It involves Raspberry Pi, other electronics, Lego, and the cloud. So there's a whole lot of other stuff in there. Hopefully it inspires you. I'll be doing videos like this about it so you can follow along. You can even build your own if you want. You can also follow along. That'll be, uh, all, all that'll be available. So hopefully it inspires you. Enjoy. As I said, I was gonna document everything. Made a little bit of progress here. I, here's my motor and I 3D printed that whole pattern. And um, I made it about half a millimeter too small. So that has to go back to the drawing board. Oh, also these, uh, if you take that, they don't, they don't work, but these do, so. No, that doesn't. Got a servo, need to put the brackets on that. I think the servo might be too big. Don't need that. Uh, power supply. So it dawned on me. I printed a. Yeah, so um, when prototyping this, there's enough stuff that's going on here that I need a dedicated board for it. So I'm making a board just for this, which will be exactly to the thing that I'm making. This was the fir my first pass. I actually will use these two millimeter threaded inserts. Um, I made these holes. Too big. And then it dawned on me that I didn't really want a big plate like this. I also wanted some nubs over there and I made this for a smaller breadboard. So it's gonna go something like that so I can mount these sort of things there and the, the Pi Zero over there. And it'll have power. There's the 5 volt regulator that'll be for the Pi. There's an accelerometer. That's actually not the one that I need to eventually use. I need a gyroscope as well. I also want a switch. Um, I want a potentiometer because I've never worked with escapes before. Oh no. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> 